good. Good. Pick up our site. Okay, so we'll see who's here, and then I'll see where we're starting. We're all going to start sitting today, so we're all sitting, and then we're going to all be lying down eventually. Well, most of us. Hope you're all well. Yeah. Good girl. So today's focus, I guess, is on um, is on breath more than anything else. So we're going to be taking a long time in the poses. So you take really a long time. So we're going to do the poses repeatedly um, so that we really focus on what we're doing with them. Obviously not the sitting ones for too long because nobody likes them. <laughs> I'll do my best. So we're going to start with our fingers to our toes. Oh, and that's what we're going to be doing. Okay. So we're going to start by shaking hands with our toes and our feet. Hello, hello. So, once you get your fingers through your toes, Natalie, you almost joined an advanced class there this morning. I'm so sorry. Well, it's okay. It's totally fine. <laughs> I said, oh, Natalie's coming to the advanced class this morning. Oh. <laughs> so take the top off of our foot. We were just finishing, actually. They looked a bit dead at the end. Okay. So, <laughs> take our feet. Excellent. So a bit of foot rotation, put your fingers through your toes and let's get some movement into this foot. Uh, we're gonna keep our heel on our ankle nice and static for this. So we really want to just be, uh, for this section, just mobilizing the top of our foot. That's my phone, that on. Okay. Good morning, everyone. So yes, yeah, so we're mobilizing the top of this foot. Hi, Sheila. Hi there. I'll try and make amendments for your shoulder when we're doing stuff. Yeah. So. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So I'll I'll try and I'll try and give you alternatives as we're going. And same, Linda, these alternatives as well. Thank, thanks, thanks, Abby. <laughs> so I didn't realise I was muted. That's okay. <laughs> so we're going to be mobilising the foot. Then what we're going to do is take it over, and we're going to mobilise the whole ankle. So we're going to move it around in big circles. Really get some movement into it and in both directions. Excellent. And Michelle's back for more. I didn't kill her hard enough this morning. <laughs> I, just, I did. Okay. <laughs> so we're mobilizing. <laughs> so make sure that's nice and warm. Abby, I'm up with... again because you promised lying down for this one. <laughs> some lying down. <laughs> No, we, we are. We're basically, I've got a couple of sitting poses I really want to do with you. I want to talk you through your sit pose, but also um, a, 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 an advanced one that's actually really nice as well. So then we're going to shake hands with our other one. There's just a couple of sitting and then it's lying down. And there's some alternatives if Steph's here because she's pregnant. So we're going to move the top half of our foot and the other foot. But yes, mainly there's lying down. Mainly. Um, and bridge, which isn't really lying down, but it kind of is. Okay, and then mobilize the top. So ankle, while I'm talking. Good. See who arrives. And I can judge what I'm up to. I've always got about three plans in my head. So. Excellent. Okay, okay. So once this foot's nice and warm, then what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to sit in a position where you can feel your sit bones underneath you. So again, I'm really wanting you to really start feeling or being aware of what your sit bones are doing. Hi, Steph. Um, so we're going to start, everybody's starting sitting, and then I'm going to give you alternatives as we go, Steph, as well, um, the, and shoulder people alternatives too. So find your nice sitting position and feel your sit bones. Whatever position you're in, you're going to dorsiflex your feet. So it doesn't matter if you're, if you, you can have your legs out in front of you, hip distance apart, drawing back with your toes, digging your heels in lightly and drawing them back towards your sit bones, or you can have them in that diamond shape where you bring your legs together and you drop your feet out towards the side, keeping your heels together and your knees out of the way. So this kind of helps to open up your hips so they're a bit stiff. So whichever position you've chosen, you're going to then feel your sits bones underneath. And I want you to really feel so it's the bony bits underneath you. Yeah. First thing, we want to make sure they're nice and even. So move the muscle out of the way so you can feel them nice and even. Then we're going to rock forward just, just on our sits bones, like, you know, like, like we're a... I don't know if anybody remembers weevils, um, but there was these toys for us little. Uh, so we're going to rock from side, but I'm quite old then. Side to forwards and backs a little bit. Good. Until you can feel. So you'll feel forwards and you'll feel back and you want to feel the nice central point, And that's where you're going to stop. Good. 
Okay, here, we want to think about just shoulders nice and relaxed. So shoulders up towards your ears and drop them down. And then I want you to feel your sits bones. I want you to feel like you're tethering them into the floor, like you're really grinding them. And at the same time, pressing your head away from you in towards the ceiling and lengthening your head behind you. And now we're just going to do three nice slow breaths, just taking your time and an apnea breath. And I'm going to talk you through it a bit. So as you breathe, I want you to focus on as you breathe, think about everything widening towards the sides. So sits bones are widening, rib cages widening. As you exhale, you're thinking about everything coming together again. And as it comes together, you're thinking about growing. So you're getting taller each exhale. And during the inhale, you're not sinking. You're keeping that height during the inhale. So it is as if you've got this fence in front of you. And every time you exhale, you're going to see it. Just manage to peer over until you do your apnea breath. And you can see whatever it is going on on the other side. Take your time nice and slowly. Be connecting with those sits bones to start with, because I want us to connect with them later on as well. So good. OK. When you've done, take your time with your breathing, though, because I'm not rushing anybody today because it's a Friday. So nice deep slow breaths. I don't know why I got that object from. OK, once you finish that one, then we're going to add some arms to it. So we're going to really add the upper body. And I'd like you to feel the difference. So we're going to place our hands. We're going to stretch our hands out towards the side. And that's it. Palms face forwards. Armpits draw towards your hips. Really lengthening through your spine. It's as if you're opening your scapula. So you want to imagine those shoulder blades behind you just kind of almost like they're sliding down and opening a little towards the side, like they're sighing. Reach out, make sure your hands are within your peripheral vision. And then we're going to do three nice slow breaths here again in your own time, feeling those six bones widening on the inhale and on the exhale closing. Now, you might not feel much movement just now, but the more, seriously, the more you think about it, the more movement you actually feel take your time so what this is doing as we stretch these sits bones away from us the whole lever to any muscle that goes around your anus and attaches it kind of goes in a kind of figure of eight kind of direction is all fanning out as you inhale and as you exhale it's sliding back together so if you imagine it like a fan so like it's sliding open and then closing so it's not like it's getting tighter and then relaxing it's this nice gentle kind of slide happening on your third one your rib opening nice and slowly once you finish this one, all we're going to do here is we're going to get some movement in our shoulders. So we're going to extend, we're going to internally rotate our hands so our palms point, point behind us. Again, with this one, we want to make sure we're not rolling our shoulders in like this. As we come around, it is just an internal rotation inside your sockets here. You're still stretching away with these fingers. You're lengthening through your spine and you're focusing very much on what's happening with those sits bones. Good. Take your time. Remember, we're growing with each exhale and we're keeping the height. Draw your chin back a little bit. So you've got this nice, you should feel a light tension up the back of your neck. So you should make, need to make sure we're not extending through our neck or, or tucking at the moment. We're going to come to that in a moment. So three nice slow breaths in your rib opening here. And if you're not doing the rib opening, obviously four nice deep slow breaths, really focusing on this lateral movement. Good. Once you finish this one, here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring, we're going to tighten this a little bit more. So we're going to bend our, bend our, extend our wrists actually as fingers point towards the front, bend our elbows and then place our hands wherever's most comfortable. So if your legs are quite high, this might not be quite so comfortable. So if this isn't comfortable, you can take your hands either a little bit out in front of you, maybe just touching on your knees or beside you. Press down. So we want to feel this tension now through our hands into our legs. If this is too much for you, you can place your hands in front of you. Palms like this, because this is where we're going next. So this position here, so if you're in this position, three nice slow breaths in your rib opening. If this is too much for you at the moment because of shoulders, then you can slide your hands in front of you. And we're gonna all come to this position in a minute anyway. So three deep slow breaths here. And then your apnea breath. Good. Again, really focusing on having that. So as if there's a wall behind you, the back of your rib cage is touching the wall, the back of your pelvis is touching the wall, the back of your head is touching the wall. Good. Take your time with your breathing, really nice and slow. When you're ready to inhale here, when it comes, you're going to slide your arms forward so your fingers are pointing up towards the ceiling. Now, in this position here, it's as if we're pressing out through the heels of our hands, but at the same time drawing our armpits towards the floor so that you should feel almost like your shoulders are like really far away from your ears is the only way I can really describe this. Pull back with your fingers as much as you can. If it's too much to pull back with your fingers, you can make a fist, but still keep this nice length. 
Good. You can have fingers together, fingers wide, depending on how much nerve stretch you want. So nerves, really nerve stretches with fingers wide, less nerve stretch with them together, and zero nerve stretch with them like this. So three nice slow breaths and another opening here. Take your time. Now we're in the pose. So now focus on the sits bones widening and closing and widening and closing. Good. Now, when you finish this one, take your time, shake everything off a little bit. Shake your wrists off, give them a roll when you're done. We'll wait for people to join because everybody's got slightly longer rib openings. So you can do a little, you can rotate them so you can actually take them and give them a nice rotation while we're doing this as well. Good. I've got a cat staring at me. <laughs> That's good. I miss mine. <laughs> so then from here, what we're going to do, still in the nice, comfortable sitting position that you're in, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with our hands. So instead of having our hands here at the front, we're going to take our hands behind us. So again, we want to keep the scapula still open. So it's not as if we're squeezing our shoulder blades together behind us. What we're doing is as we take our hands backwards, we're thinking about still opening across our shoulder blades. So try it. So what we're going to do, hands here, slide them behind you. you let your tape behind you. For you. Some of you might need to have them quite wide. So they might not be right behind you. If you can feel your shoulder blades pinching, open your shoulders to the position where you can feel like you're opening your scapula. Good. What we're looking for here, the primary thing is about opening across your chest here. Good. I can't take my very heart far behind me because everything starts pinching. So it's about here. Three nice slow breaths here and a rib opening again. So I'll show you from the side. So hands have come back like this into this position. We're going to use this position a bit differently in a minute. Three nice slow breaths and a rib opening again. If it's too much for your wrists, take your hands back and just leave them flat. So take them back into this position, almost like you're touching your fingers towards the floor. So you're still opening through your shoulders. And you can touch your fingers on the floor if it's easier for you. Nice straight arms. Okay. Three nice deep slow breaths there. So we're really opening across here. Good. Try and keep your ribcage stacked on top of your pelvis so don't thrust your body forward. Once you finish this one again, shake your arms off. And we're going into the beach body pose. That's what Tamara calls it. So we, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our legs out in front of us. They're gonna be hip distance apart. We're gonna be sitting right on those sits bones to start with. And then all that we're gonna do is we're gonna place our hands behind us, fingers pointed towards our buttocks. And we're gonna lean back into a bit. So we've got this nice straight line that goes from our pelvis to our shoulders. So I'll show you from the side this way and this way. Okay, so in this position now, what we're going to do, remember how we were talking the other day about your tailbone curling under as your head curls. So now what we're going to add, we're going to think about that stretch. So in this position, I want you to roll back in your sacrum just a little bit. So you're not right on your sits bones, you're going to be on the other side of your sits bones. You know how we were rocking at the beginning. You can try it here. So roll all the way forward onto the front of your sits bones, like you're pushing everything forwards into a you know, really like kind of arched back. Then roll back through your sit bone to the point just on the other side of your sit bones, just when it starts to curl. Good. Now here, think about opening across your shoulders. And now we're going to curl our head as if we're curling our chin round a ball. So that's all we're doing. So you'll be looking down towards your breasts, basically. The cue here is actually belly button, but women don't have that cue. Then you draw back with your toes and your heels. And we're going to do three nice slow breaths and an apnea breath here again. This is you're thinking about, it's almost like you've tethered your coccyx to the floor and it's trying to pull away from you as you pull your head away from your coccyx. So you should feel this incredible length through your spine as you connect with this more. Three nice slow breaths. And then during your apnea breath, as you pull your rib cage open, you should, you should feel more of a stretch through your abdominals. Take your time. If you are pregnant, obviously, then you're not doing the rib opening, but I still want you to get that nice big long stretch and really feel, it's really almost as if somebody's pulling your, your coccyx through your legs this way as you pull your head to try to counteract that pull of your coccyx. Good. How did that one feel? I quite like that one. Good, excellent. Okay, so for everybody else, we're gonna go down onto our backs now. Um, and we're going to lie on our back, flat on the floor. Um, if you're not coming down onto your back now, so everybody else, we're going to be lying on our backs, legs 
fully extended. Oh, I've chopped my head off. Hold on. Legs fully extended along the mat. Pulling back with our toes and our heels. I'll adjust my camera in just a second. Um, I'm going to get you guys started on something. I'm going to give you something to do as well up here. So we're going to have stretch your hands out towards the sides. You want to make sure that your heels are on the floor, but you're pulling back with your toes and pulling back with your heels as if you're pushing off a wall. Now, I want you to think about having a ball between your thighs and between your ankles, like you're trying to draw your ankles and your thighs in towards that ball. So you're holding a ball there the whole way through. Not super tight, just so you've got a nice little bit of tension there. Then your hands are going to be in that first position. So you can stretch your hands out towards the side, palms face forwards, and then rotate them into first. We're going to do three nice slow breaths here. And during the apnea, so once you've got your rib opening, you're going to move your hands slowly up above your head, taking it super, super slowly. And you're going to do three sets. So you're going to do this through three times, taking it really slowly. Um, if you can't move your arms, if they're too sore to take them above your shoulders, you can either keep them in the internal rotation or you can move them to external rotation during the rib opening. Or if you're struggling with the internal rotation, you can keep them in the external rotation and you can even lengthen them on the floor. If we're not going into these positions, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, while well, everybody's lying flat like that, we're gonna come into a diamond position with our legs, into the sitting diamond position. Um, we're gonna do quadruped when everybody goes into the, into the bridge position as well. So we get some quadruped action in there. So drawing back with our toes and drawing back with our heels, sit right on your sits bones. And same thing, hands are in first position. Now, as you do your four breaths, Steph, you're gonna slowly move your hands. So they're not gonna stay static at all. So the whole time you're breathing and focusing on your breathing, I also want you to be focusing on what your hands are doing. So take it super, super slowly, four full breaths to get to the top. Good. I'll adjust this camera so you can see what I'm doing lying down better and sitting. Get your time with your breathing, guys. As you think about it, as you move your rib cage and you move your arms, I want you to think about your coccyx moving away from the top of the crown of your head. So you're really accentuating the stretch that you're getting. My camera's not behaving itself more annoyingly. <laughs> I want to be able to see you as well. That's it. Good, good, good. And keep thinking about pulling back your toes and your heels as well. Really annoying today. I'm having so many technological issues today. It's crazy. I don't know if that actually made any difference. Take it nice and slowly. Okay, so you're going to do two sets of those ones, Steph, there, and then we're going to come into quadruped when I put them in the next position. Take it nice and slowly. Okay, so once you guys take your third one, super, super slowly, Brownie, that looks good. Once you've done your third one, you guys, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into a bent leg position. So we're gonna have our feet flat on the floor, our legs bent. We're dr drawing back with our toes and our heels. So this looks like the first position that you ever did and ever learned, but it's not quite. Nice neutral pelvis, rib cage is gonna be stacked. We're gonna have our hands flat on the floor initially, palms face down towards the floor. And this is as if we're creating tension in our hands, just like to stabilize our shoulders. So it's as if you're stretching your hands away from you and applying a little bit of pressure. So we're really opening off across our shoulders. Then as we inhale, we're gonna inhale in position and as we exhale, we're gonna raise one of our legs up and we're gonna take it to the point where our knee is just above our pelvis on the exhale. And then we're gonna inhale and lower it back down again. And we're gonna do three of these. And on the file, I'll talk you through this one. I'll talk you through one side and then you can do the other side. So I'll wait, wait till everybody's here because I think some people are still third. Okay, so knees bent, good. Pull back with your toes and your heels. Hands are flat on the floor, lengthening from your occiput bone all the way through to your sits bones at the bottom. And you're gonna do three nice slow breaths. So we're inhaling in position. So inhale here, exhale, lift the leg up, keeping the pelvis nice and static as you lift the leg up, exhale. Then you're gonna inhale, bring the leg back down again, nice and slowly, keeping your pelvis really static. And then you're gonna exhale and draw it back up again, nice and slowly. Good. And then inhale back down, super slowly, keeping everything nice and static. And then on your final exhale, you're gonna bring your leg up. You're gonna switch off your breath. You're gonna open your ribs, please. And then you're gonna stretch this leg out if you can. If you can't stretch the leg out, keep it where it is. 
And you've got to really think about drawing those heels back towards your body, pulling back with your toes. And when you need to inhale, you're going to inhale here and exhale, and you're going to start on the other side. Good. Where's Steph? Come there, Steph. So, Steph, we're going to come into a quadruped position here, and we're going to go through the three quadruped positions while they're doing that. So you guys are going to repeat that twice through, yeah? Take it nice and slowly. We're going to start with our hands directly underneath our shoulders here and up on our toes behind us. The first set that we're going to do, we're going to do pull back at the same time. So we can either have fingers pointing in the way or fingers pointing out the way. Um, I'm going to just have fingers pointing out the way because <laughs> I find it easier. So then what we're going to do is make sure we're pressing the back of the head against the ceiling. So we've got a nice long spine. And then when we inhale, we're drawing back as far as we can come comfortably thinking about our six bones coming out behind us. The minute you start thinking that your sits bones are starting to curl towards the floor, then you're going to push forward on your exhale. And we're going to inhale back again, nice and slowly, really opening those sits bones behind us. And exhaling forwards. And you're going to do four of these here, Steph. Good. And then you're going to drop down and do four here on our forearms. And then after those four, you're going to drop down here and you just have a nice static pose, four nice slow breaths. Take it down that way. Good. Take it nice and slowly. Good. Brownie, did you do one set or two sets? Two sets. So we'd need to do another set. So that's okay. So feet are hip distance apart, drawing back with your toes and your heels, neutral pelvis, neutral ribcage. Then inhale. And then as you exhale, stabilize your pelvis as you lift your leg up. And exhale, slowly lower it back down again. We're nice and controlled. Good. So three of these. Really use your breath. Inhale, think about stabilizing. So think about keeping your pelvis nice and even as you come up. And then exhale, roll it back down again. Making sure that your knee is always above your pelvis when you come up. And then on your third one, when you come up, you're going to switch off your breath, open your ribs, and then straight, if you want to, stretch option, stretch your leg out. Good. Excellent. And when you're ready to inhale, you're going to inhale here and exhale, lower it back down and repeat on the other side. So nice and slowly. This is all about making sure that you're not rocking as you bring your legs up. So in this, in these poses here, it's, just, it's making sure that you're actually, everything is nice and supported so that your rib cage is still stacked on top of your pelvis as you lift your leg up. You're not rocking your pelvis backwards and forwards to accommodate the lifting of the leg. The leg is lifting within its socket. Good. Once you have done two sets, pull your knees in towards your chest. And I'm going to show you what we do next. OK, so our next thing we're going to do, and I'll talk you through this again, don't worry. If you're still holding and doing long, long breath holds, it's fine, I will come back to this. We are coming into the bridge position. We're going to do a nice standard bridge to start with. So we're going to start the hip hinge one. We're going to have our hands flat on the floor. We're going to spread our shoulder blades, occiput bones on the floor, the back of our head. Nice neutral pelvis rib cage stacked, feet flat on the floor. We're going to do three nice slow breaths and then our apnea breaths or our rib opening. We're going to make sure we've got a really good rib opening first. Then we're going to tilt our pelvis and draw up with our knees as if our knees are pulling us up towards the side ceiling. So we're not rolling, articulating through the spine. We're actually just pulling straight up. And then we're going to make sure we're still squeezing those balls between our legs. So we're making sure we're using these adductor muscles. And then we're going to inhale at the top here. And on the exhale, we're just going to unhinge ourselves back down. So three nice slow breaths first. Are we ready to go? I'll count you through this one. And then um, we will. I will let you practice one. Ready to inhale. Inhale, one, two, three, six, five, four, three, two, one. Think about squeezing a ball between your thighs. One, two, three, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch off your breath. Pause. Open your ribs. Make sure you've got a nice rib opening first. Then you're going to tilt your pelvis just a little bit. So your lower back will come into the floor just a little bit to give you space to pull up with your knees. So this is for this pulley, pulling your knees up towards the sides of the rooms, squeezing your thighs as if you've got balls between them, pushing lightly through your hands. Hold here till you need to inhale. And when you need to inhale, you're going to inhale in this position and then exhale, just unhinge yourself back down again. Good. Do one more by yourselves there at your time. And then I'm going to make it more challenging.
Good. Really feel like you're sinking your ribcage into the floor on your exhales. Good, Steph. Once we finish those ones for you, we're going to add a little bit more for your stability of your balance. You're going to have such strong shot, oh, shot arm muscles after all of this. So we've got hand, fingers pointing in the way or fingers pointing out the way for you. And we make sure we've got a nice box frame. Press the back of your head towards the ceiling. We're going to do three breaths. On the fourth breath, you're going to, on the inhale, you're going to slide your leg out behind you. And on the exhale, you're going to lift your leg up. So we've got this nice long spine and make sure we're not sinking. Try and really connect the back of your extensor muscles. So we've got a nice strong back muscle. And then you're going to bring it back in and do the same on the other side and repeat twice. Okay. For you guys, to make your, uh, your hinge position, your bridge position a bit more challenging, what we're going to do this time is this. When you come up, you're going to do your first inhale here. And then on your exhale, you're going to draw up into your position. So you're going to be here already. Then you're going to do another two breaths here, hold in this position. And when you hold in this position, you've really got to think about what's going on with your legs. So when we come up into this position on your exhale, you're going to think about drawing your heels back towards your sits bones. And you're going to make sure that your, your rib cage is in line with your pelvis. So we're not pushing through our shoulders, come up into a bridge position or pushing really high up. What we're really focusing on is making sure that we still have, and when you come up here, you should still have this nice connection between your pelvis and your rib cage. So you should still be able to put your thumbs at the bottom of your rib cage and the fingers at the top of the SAS bone here, and, and they should still be nicely connected. Your rib cage shouldn't be popping in front or dropping behind your pelvis. Okay, so let's try it. So you're down first. Okay, we've set ourselves up, ready to inhale. Inhaling, nice deep inhale. Then as you exhale, you're going to tilt your pelvis just a little and then draw up into the position. Once we're in this position, you're going to imagine squeezing a ball between your ankles and between your thighs and draw your heels back towards your sits bones. We're going to do two more breaths here. Keep your arms active on the floor, so stretching them away and pushing them lightly into the floor. Two more breaths here. And then you're going to do pause, close your mouth and nose and open your ribcage in this position and hold it here. And then when you need to inhale, you're gonna inhale here and exhale, still squeezing that ball between your legs, you're gonna lower yourself back down again. Good, so nice. And we're gonna repeat it one more time. Good, take your time when you come back down. That's nice, Jill, good, good. So same thing. You're coming up on the first exhale. Then you're engaging the glutes and the hamstrings. So we're really working the posterior line as well. So when we initially come up and we come up into this position, it's the anterior line we're trying to engage with that pull towards the ceiling. And then we want to engage the back of our body. So we're drawing our heels in and then we want our adductors to work. So we're squeezing those balls. And then we want to work our shoulders. So we want to press into the floor. We want to make sure our ribcage and pelvis are still connected. Good. And we want to reach away with our fingers, reach away with our head, reach away with our sits bones as if we're trying to draw our coccyx away from our body. And we're going to do our rib opening in this position. And then exhale. When you re inhale and then exhale, come down. Well done. Okay. From there, pull your knees in towards your chest if you're on the floor. When you finish that one. Good. And then we're going to come into a sitting position and just do a couple of shoulder stretches. As you come down, you into child's pose actually first, just to stretch off those glutes after doing that. Good. And then pull back into your sitting position, into your child's pose. Good. Then from here, let's do our shoulders here actually today. So then from here, if you can, what you're going to do is you're going to, first of all, you've got two choices here for this one. So you can either, Put your hands together like you're clapping and then turn your body to look through your arms. So it's like you're taking one of your shoulders down towards the floor. Or you can have your hands out in front of you and you can thread the other hand through so that you're coming to lie your shoulder on the floor. So you've got some nice open shoulders. So pick which one you like the best. So yeah, when you're here, you can thread it under, you 